Happy New Year's, everyone! Goodbye, 2020, you COVIDian redheaded stepchild. You're not a stepchild. What? <laughs> You're not a stepchild! Today, we want to talk about all the games I beat in 2020. This is where Jen gets to brag a little bit. Yeah. This time last year you had made up in your mind that you needed to get educated. I did. And by that I mean game wise because you had almost no game knowledge. Basically was yeah. just dance. <laughs> and like a couple Donkey Kongs yeah, and, and that Mario. Was about it. Yeah, yeah. It is concurrent with my age. That's how many games I've played. Right? I'm 26. <laughs> we have 26 games. I'm not 26. I'm 29. It's fine. Hey, we got started 2021 right and I gotta lie about my age. What did I say it was last year so I can just lie one year yes, differently? Dear. Yes? Yes, dear. Okay, that's not it. That doesn't even answer the question. I'm gonna start off quick. Okay. I'm gonna hit you with two. You did. Bam! Bam! Do you, do you know what they are from the back? Yeah, I do. Oh, Uncharted yeah. and Uncharted 2. Now, I, we took both of these out because you basically played these I did play back them to back. back to back. Like, and that was the problem. I'm like, I can't necessarily differentiate between, yeah. it feels like one great big story. Yeah, so it, it's just blurred now. As it is one. a little bit. I do know that I liked number two better. Dennis really wanted me to play Uncharted, but he said he really liked Uncharted and that I had to play it. And I loved it. I loved all... Everything about it was really cool. You had aspects of trying to find different things, solve puzzles, you had to climb, and then there was also some, like, shooting and aspects of a shooter. Yeah. So it was a really well-rounded game and funny. There was interludes of comedy in it. I really enjoyed it. I'm excited to see what they'll do with the movie. I, I'm cautiously excited. Is that a thing? <laughs> yeah. Can you be cautiously excited? You never know. Okay. Halo! Halo. On the OG Xbox, and we played it exactly like you're seeing it here. Me and Scott, it was, it was a very fun game. It was fun and Don't interesting. Don't jump into and... Halo thinking that you're going to be wowed by the graphics, because no. it is an original Xbox game, but I think yeah, some people... But it, it... For Some what people it is, who have never up. played that before would go, okay, like, yeah, you know, what, you could, you, but you have to put yourself in that mindset, I'm playing, and now, I loved it. It was really, really they good. They do have the Master Chief collection you can get on the Xbox yes. One. I, I would assume the graphics are a little more enhanced. Yeah. I, I don't know, 100%. But we played this on the old Xbox. Oh, yeah. And we had a blast right up until that last mission. <laughs> that was the worst. It was it was the worst and the best. When we finally beat the last mil mission because of that damn I don't even know what it's called. What? The it's war not a warthog. Warthog. Yeah. The damn warthog. Jump looking thing you drive. I didn't even try to drive it. That thing sucks. That, oh, the steering steer on that, that shit. All. So through it's the like whole trying game. Trying to drive a tricycle through a snowstorm. Yes. Wow, this is happening. Anyway, it got to a point where it was like, okay, we run, we jump in the Warthog, and I wasn't even waiting for her because you're on a time limit. So yes. I wouldn't even wait for her. You, you either get your ass in the vehicle or I'm leaving <laughs> You're getting you. locked behind. <laughs> we did finish it together, yeah. not because Scott wanted to, but because that's how it happened. Otherwise, he would have just left well, my Well, when ass we did behind. get right to the very end when you're going to go get on the ship. You were going to mow I me was, down! I was running, I had the shotgun out, and aliens are coming at us, and I'm just... BOOM! Bong! And she stepped out in front of me once there, and I'm bong! I'm gonna cut you right in half. <laughs> With no regard for my well-being at all. We happy few on the PS4. I am going to consider this beaten, but you can th play through the other character's story. So you have your main character, and then there's like a female protagonist. Oh, to, you get to see their point of view. You could see her point of view. You could play through it that way. Basically, this is like a post-war kind of era. Uh, 
they want to make everybody happy. They don't, they, they start. They basically, you get, you, they drug you. They drug you. So you, you, you think everything's great. But it's not. Yeah, like there's the one thing that I, I remember from the first night is like they were, I think they were cutting a birthday cake. No, it was they broke open a pinata. Oh, yeah. I think that's what it was. But when his drugs started wearing off, he realized it wasn't a pinata they busted open. It was like a rat or something. Yeah. They were eating the guts. Yeah. It was it's like it's twisted. really, really twisted. It, like, just sinister, but in the best way. I, it didn't, I don't think everybody loved it. No, I don't think it did well. It didn't do well, no. but I really enjoyed it. I, I, I don't know why people didn't like it. It could be a little long at time I through certain missions. Felt like you I spent had, some serious time on it. I did on spend that. some serious time on it. Yeah. But I really enjoyed it. Will I play Sally's part of the story? I think that's her name is Sally. I have no idea. Probably at some point. I just myself needed... for what I seen over here that night. Did I even play a little bit of it, or was I just watching? No, I think you just watched I think that. I just watched. Yeah. Anyway, from what I've seen, it's it's not for me. No. It doesn't interest me. I but... really liked the art style on it. it yeah, was, it was cool. It was very cool. It was cool. a very cool concept. Jumping from one game people didn't really 100% love, we'll go with another one I don't think <laughs> was really well loved, but as a Donkey Kong Country fan, yeah. we had to pick this up last year, and I only played it the tail part of this year. It, yeah, it took you a while. Yeah. Like, you weren't consistently playing it all the time. Just once in a while, you grab the Switch and sit on the couch. Resident Evil 2. On Resident Evil 2. This was an awesome game. Oh, <laughs> I, yeah. I really enjoyed it. Yeah. Yeah. There. It, I think PlayStation does it better than anybody. Oh, yeah. For, like... Uh -huh. Like back then, they, they didn't have the graphics to work with, so they set the atmosphere with, with music music and a story and all that stuff. Yeah. And you really got into it there. Remothered, Re tormented fathers is messed up. Twist it as fuck. This is not the red nun. Oh, the red nun. What the hell? Guys, if you've not heard of this game, if you have not played it yet, pick it up. It's graphically not really your best ps4 not, game no it's not going to be your best ps4 game but there is a great story there great music great creepy characters a lot of suspense yes and yeah. i have already purchased the uh sequel to remothered i actually think is it's it a, a prequel is it's it a prequel? prequel it's the second game but it's a prequel it wasn't soup it was scary but it was more like you couldn't really fight you could fend off your attacker, but you no. couldn't kill them. No. You mostly had to hide. Oh, yeah, you couldn't do that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and you couldn't even, with the Red Nun, you can't even fend Anything. her off. If she gets a hold of you, you are dead. <laughs> so, hot tip. Hot tip for you. This War of Mine is the most depressing game I think I've ever played, ever. Okay, so... Then it's the complete edition because you have to be completely depressed when you, <laughs> when you play this. You can't really beat this game either, but I'm no. going to consider it a win because I put a lot of time into trying to survive for as long as I could. Yeah. And I think I survived a total of like 34 days. Mm -hmm. You want to play 2020 in a game? It, it doesn't have a plague, but it does have depression. Uh, Watch Dogs 2. Holy crap, what a fun game. I think I spent just as much time driving around hitting people. <laughs> you sound like you, like you should be playing Grand Theft Auto. I know! <laughs> I would drive around hitting people, trying to like jump over things. I think we tried to put the car through a sign. Oh yeah. I would drive a bus and mow people down. It was just a good time. This was Alex's pick. Those who remain. Those who remain. Creepy. Creepy. Creepy because this you have again, to stay in the light. Not well received. People said nope. after a while it would get a bit redundant. Uh, I could see that. Yep. But I enjoyed it for what it was. I think that's what people I need never, to remember. You gotta remember, yeah. you gotta enjoy a game for what it is. River City Girls! This was an awesome game. This was an I awesome love game. This game. We did not play this one physical, but 
we loved it so much, so much we, we had, had to go get... and buy a physical copy. Yeah. We actually played it first time on the Xbox One. Yeah, we did. So, and then we came across, I came across this copy on eBay. Yeah, it, so. they were hard to come by for a oh. decent price. Yeah. Because they're a limited run game. Awesome. Beat them up. Oh, yeah. Oh my god. I think a lot of people compare it to uh, the uh, Scott Pilgrim vs. the World Yeah, I haven't game. had a chance to play that one, but then again, who has? Who has? <laughs> who has? But, if you haven't, yeah. like I haven't, and you want to, they're going to release it digitally, I think, on January 14th. January 14th. This year. That's pretty cool. Coming up. So, I'm going to buy that. Oh yeah, we have to buy that. Yep. But, River City Girls was just a fun game. The ending was awesome. I laughed. I even yeah. thought it was hilarious. I don't want to give it away to you guys yeah. either for anybody who uh, hasn't yeah. played it all the way through. The ending is really funny. That was hilarious. Yeah, it's it, there's a little twist at the end and I like that. Yep. Astro's oh, Playroom. That's true. Yeah. Mention that right now. That's one there of the go. games we don't have physically because it's installed it's, yeah, on your PlayStation 5. What a fun game. Yes. Easter highlights eggs. The, highlights the controller. Yeah. All the haptic feedback features and all that fun oh, stuff. Oh yeah. And like with the surround sound down here on the big screen, it's it's it sounds amazing. It does. You get the feel and the controller. You get all these hidden Easter egg stuff. Of all PlayStation. Everything. Like, everything PlayStation. Like from PlayStation One and all your handhelds. Your oh PSP, yeah, your, your Vita. Vita. There's everything. It's yeah. Everything. The Move yeah. was on there. Like anything PlayStation related. Any product I think they prefer for Yes. Them. Among the sleep. Short. Short and sweet. Short and sweet. And kind of dark. Kind of dark, yes. It, give it a chance. Give at, it a half an hour. Give it or a so, half an hour. Because be it's only three hours, four hours at the most. The, the I think the opening scene might lose some people. Yeah. That yeah. first opening scene, that first little tutorial scene where you're learning how to use the controls, yeah. you may be like, am I playing a toddler's game? No. No. Stick with it. I promise you it gets better. Yeah. Tomb Raider, I played the definitive edition on PS4. Holy shit, I thought I loved Uncharted. I like Tomb Raider more. Now, I did see a little bit of the gameplay and got to the point where I was like, I don't want to see any more because I don't want to ruin it for myself. Yeah. Because I'm going to play it. Have to. Have to. Yep. It is so cool. Um, very comparable to Uncharted. There's no humor in the Tomb Raider game. It's a more dark feeling game. It's a badass shooter game. It is a badass shooter game. Yeah. Constantly was concerned for her uh, getting too cold because she's like up in the mountains the entire time it's snowing and I'm, she's in a tank top. She's never cold. She's never Rachel from Friends cold either. But uh, Dennis asked me, did I enjoy playing as a badass chick? And I don't even think about that when I play a game. Maybe some girls do, but I don't even really think but about it. I, I just don't care myself. I, I like how it handles, how yeah. the controller handles, if it makes sense. Uh, I loved the climbing in this. It wasn't overwhelming. Uh, same thing with the tombs. So you go and you could do the tombs. You didn't have to, but it was a nice little interlude to all the like heavy combat portions of the game where yeah. you're just shooting and mowing down enemies but yeah i liked that aspect of it it was very well balanced and if you get the chance to play it on ps4 the definitive edition graphically dennis said there was a huge leap huge between the leap. ps3 and the ps4 yeah. awesome awesome game yeah silent hill this was dennis's pick i know and i think i played it in february I think so. Yeah, and I did and a you very were still really green at that point. Mm -hmm. yeah. I did a very different take on reviewing this game. I sat down after each gameplay and reviewed it, and uh, I feel like people enjoyed that style, and I may do that in the future. There you go. Skyrim. I played this for about eight thousand hours. Not that much. It. I played it the I entire month you, long. Almost. I think you put thirty hours or so. At into least. It at least in that you know that oh yeah oh you probably doubled that i know yeah I asked, because you were playing three four hours a night yeah i asked several month. people how long does it take to beat and there's no answer because you can play it forever <laughs> and you can definitely play it forever if you get lost on a side quest little nightmares oh 
boy guys I, I it's definitely it's on my top 10 it it has to be on my top 10 um is it the best game in the entire world that's for you to decide <laughs> because it is just a platformer yeah puzzle puzzle platformer what makes this game is the story the graphics graphics are really oh good. my yeah. god it's so good i ordered the second one had to had to had to did a review of this felt like i really put my heart and soul into that review because i loved that game yep. so much i did not pick this up initially physically because i played them i think in march i think you did because it was denver gamers pick yeah one of three that well, I, and i played all three of his picks that month uh -huh. so i think this was towards the end of that month and i think we might have just been hitting covid and i don't know if i was worried i couldn't get them or if it was just they were super cheap to download that was a bit of it but i think that's what it was loved it so much needed it physically yeah yeah it's and then you a beautiful the, game all the dlc yeah and then the there's a really really thick undertone of the seven deadly sins it's it's great playing through that and you're like recognizing recognizing that in the game it's just a really really good play if you haven't played it you have to play it streets of rage 4 streets of rage 4 another one we played uh, i feel like it lived up to the series i do too the three yeah. previous ones were pretty good i uh, like if i had to pick one that's my least favorite would be number three yeah for whatever reason there now we just did a spell your name in video games Yep. You almost picked this one for X. I almost did, but I could. I it would be hard for me to choose. There's so between many. Any of them, all four of them. Yeah. I, I love the first one. I love the second one. The third one's yeah. Detroit Become Human. Yep. The one that made me buy all the rest of them. <laughs> so there's True. actually four games uh, made by. I, I know I'm gonna screw up. Quantic Dream. Quantic Dream. I want to yep. say Quantric. I want to add an R in there for no reason, but Quantic Dream, Detroit Become Human. Uh, there's three other games. I'll have to list them for you guys. So Indigo like Prophecy. <clears throat> Indigo po Prophecy. There's one right um, there. Beyond Two Souls. Beyond Two Souls and Heavy Rain. There you go. And Heavy Rain. Ratchet and Clank, Future Tools. Uh, yeah, Future Tools of Destruction. Ratchet and Clank, Future Tools of Destruction. Let me screw that up a couple times. Try one more time. Ratchet and Clank Future, Tools of Destruction. This was a pick from Modane Designs. And do you know what? We had a hell of a time finding a Ratchet we and Clank. We did have a hard time here in town finding one. I don't know why, but it was very difficult because we were like on the crunch because it was that yes. time you had to start playing that game so you I could know. do a review because you re did a review on this, did you not? No, I didn't do a review. Oh, I you played a live. Doing a live. And Alex almost damn near ruined the experience for me sitting in on the live because he was just rawr, rawr, rawr. He's like every other teenager in the world. They know way more than you do and they know better than you do Bendy and the ink machine. Oh, yeah, I didn't get to see the end of this <gasps> bugger Seriously, yeah, seriously because I work evenings and that's when she plays all her games now I had started the game with her here one night and like seen at three quarters of the game. Dennis and... didn't ever finish this one either? No. Okay, no, well maybe Dennis you'll have to get spot. Dennis to finish it too so you can see the end. Oh well, yeah, all right. <laughs> I don't want to play it myself now because I've seen three quarters of the game. It is a really good game. Yep. Uh, I thought it was just going to be like a puzzler at first and it is a puzzler. No, it's kind of creepy. It's kind of creepy, but you do get to fight in it too because yep. for the longest time during the first little bit, I was like, this is it. This is what I'm doing. But no, then you get to like smash some faces and that made me happy. It's got this weird, it's not black and white, but it's got this Sapia weird, toned. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to say yellow. Yeah. Sapia. <laughs> it's got this weird tone to it there, which is kind of gives it that old Mickey Mouse. Yeah. I'm going to warn you right now. There is a game breaking glitch with the projectionist there when you're trying to really find all the ink hurts. Yeah. 
make sure you do not save your game during that and then shut off your yeah. machine to come back later because it will glitch and say you found all the ink carts but when you, you actually don't have them. So then you can't go finish that part of the mission. You can't progress. So you can start from your save last save point or do as I did because I hadn't been game capturing it and just start the whole damn game over again. So that's what I did. Yeah. But I... Not was, a super long game either though. If they had a bendy in the ink machine too, I would buy it. Yeah. I loved this game. Oh, I it thought was, it was cool from what I seen. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Cur there was times where it was creepy. There was like little jump there scares. There was a f few jump scares there where you actually screamed. Oh yeah. So New Super Mario Bros. Wii. This was another one of our picks for Wii. Spell Your Name in Video Games because yeah. it had new. And that's what I went with. Good God, this was fun. We had a blast. We actually had to play it over two <laughs> nights. Because when you play it with four people trying to get through the game, it ups the difficulty. Oh yeah, we played like late. It was late, yeah. Oh yeah, like and probably three in the morning oh, or something? Oh yeah, easily. Resident Evil 4. Okay. You did a review on this. I did do a review on it and I this is another in my top 10 game. I hate to even say this out loud. I was not looking forward to playing this game. I don't know why. I was just like, ugh. I remember saying that. I have to play that stupid game this month. I don't know why I felt like that. What the hell? I don't know why. I don't know what I had played the month before. I just wasn't, I didn't, wasn't wanting to for what whatever reason. There? I, when I bought the game, I think I played a chunk of it, but I have never gone back. I haven't finished the game yet. I'll have to jump back in yes, and actually finish it. But it's a long, awesome. it's a long game. It is a long, long game. game. Um, for when it comes to Resident Evils, it's it's huge for a Resident Creepy. Evil. Creepy. Yeah. The 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 noises the people make in the game. It just feels like I don't know. Like the it, when we had the surround sound on and I was playing it, I was like, they're here. Like it's just <laughs> it creeped me out in certain spots and some parts really hard. I yeah. think that's why I didn't want to play it. I saw how much you, you struggled that first mission when you were trying to get away from the guy with yep. the chainsaw. You still got those old controls. Oh, yeah. there. Well you that's know, why I wasn't clunky. that's exactly it. Last of Us and Last of Us Part 2. Holy shit. Very very controversial this year. Yes. Yeah. Um I don't understand the hatred. I don't. But no. you know what? The longer the distance has been between its release, it just won people, a ton of awards. People are hating it less. I think yeah. there was such a it was, cancel culture on yeah. this game that everybody's like, oh, just jump in line and beat like sheep and follow along with everybody they else hating hated it. hated it before they even played it. Castlevania Symphony of the Night. This was a Father's Day gift. Let's for me. just put my last comment on repeat. This <laughs> is also in my top 10. Oh, yeah. It is so good. I can understand why it commands the price. It does. Yeah. yeah. I can understand. There, there are other PlayStation 1. Like, I don't have a huge PlayStation library, like my P PS1 games, because I kind of missed that generation yeah. of the console. Um, but now trying to go back and pick up stuff, mm -hmm. you're paying for it. There's like oh, yeah. 150 bucks Canadian there, but don't regret it at all. Mm -mm. Not at all. We we got our money's worth out of this, yeah. and we will continue. Here's to get what our happened. Worth. It was one of your gamer education picks. I feel like I was it Phil. Who yeah, was it? Phil. Was it Phil's? And um, Moldan had put it on his list. I think the month before. Yes. But he also had the Ratchet and Clank one, and you're like, well. We know this is coming in. Yeah. No, so we'll do it. Next and I think month. it was the, one of the very few duplicate. Ah, uh, yeah. Like you would think they're the. I know you didn't do twelve months of it, but yeah. So they say there was ten. And that's three picks a person. That's thirty games, and there was only a couple of duplicate yeah. picks. Yeah. And that was one of them, yeah. and I can understand why. Yes, I loved it. So what happened with this is that she was playing. She was how many hours into it? I was Ooh, on chunk. the inverted she was at, castle. In the I last needed stretch. my last Vlad relic. Yep. I deleted my save file. 
She was talking on the phone with me and deleted her save. <laughs> and I... <laughs> Accidentally, yeah, of course. I almost cried. Like... Oh, I think you probably did. No, I didn't. <laughs> I, because it was a mixture of, like, sadness but rage. So yeah. I fell somewhere in the middle. So she was sour. This is a Feeling. real good oh, gamer education. Oh, really education authentic there. education. So what I decided to do is... I'll get... Um, well, we're gonna buy another memory card. Two. Two memory cards. Don't touch my memory card. <laughs> I played up to the point, or almost to the point of where you were. Then we copied the memory card. Yeah. Here's yours. Don't yeah. touch mine. Don't touch mine. So she got to finish the game. I did. In her, the way she wanted to do it. And then I finished it probably that the week after. Yes. So I want to do something here. Okay. Oh, Bring shit. all your pile in here. Oh, shit. Bring them all in. I don't know what you're gonna make me do. So. Are these all facing out? Jen doesn't know I'm going to ask her this oh, question God right here. Almighty. So, we will edit out whatever we have to edit out and make it until she gets to that point. And you would think I'm going to ask you for your top three. Oh, I'm not. crying out not, loud. not, Jen. I'm not. I'm not going to do that. You're not going to make me go top to bottom with what No, which no, that's too difficult. Wait, wait. What? There's two we didn't mention. Uh -oh. I, also, I also played What Remains of Edith Finch. That was another Denver gamer. Yeah. Um, that was only we can only get that digitally because it's it's stupid expensive. Like hundred and seventy dollars, I think. And the game is short. It's just a visual novel. It's a visual novel. It was cool. It was cool. It was very cool. I I think I might have even appreciated it more than you. Possibly. I think you did. But not enough to go and spend that on a game that I would never play again. Again, so. yeah. And Mickey Castle of Illusion. Yes. And that was strange enough don't have a physical copy of that. We couldn't because it was an April pick. Yeah. And we were, we were in full lockdown. COVID yeah. lockdown. Couldn't find us here. You couldn't get them in town. So and I needed to do it Scotty then. that was Scotty J Retro's pick. Yeah, and I beat that so, home one day. Yeah, it was a really fun But you played that on the uh, Sega Genesis Mini. Yes. Which is a great console. It oh, is a great console. The Mini. Yeah, I really enjoyed console. it. Okay. So, now, now that we have all that, how many total games is that? 27 games. 27 games. So out of the 27 games, I want you to pick your top five. Top five. And I'll make it easier on you. If it's if it's like a Last of Us or if it's an Uncharted, you can bundle the two together what? as one pick. <laughs> I'm sticking. You are quite you're I'm sticking quite with those. I'm quite content picks. with those. Okay. So from fifth to first, what's your fifth pick? Mm. What's your number five? Number five. Five time. Five time. Five time. Five time. Five time. Five time. Yeah. Which one's number five? Number five. That is number five. That's number five. Is that your final answer? Yes. Number five is. Tomb Raider. Four. Little Nightmares. It's number four. Mm -hmm. And I think it's easy from here. Three? Know. Three. Three? Yeah. Now, if they remake this sucker. <sighs> Might move up the list. I don't know. Might move up. Two. This one's two. That one's two. This game was, and I was made not, in 97, the same year I graduated. Was not excited about playing it. Oh. You will, you will be now. Oh, I am now. Yeah, I like love you'll it. Play this, mm -hmm. You'll play this a few more times. Oh, absolutely. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And then, because I told you you could bundle them, you got number one that's remastered and number two. Now, if you had to pick only one of these, I go that, back and forth on that this. That is a your lot. favorite. I go back on and forth on this a lot, and I'll tell you why. There is no Last of Us 2 without Last of Us 1. So, it's hard to say I love Last of Us 2 more because it wouldn't exist if there wasn't a first one. This made the game. This made the entire thing. So, you could, if you, there can, there can only be one. There's a full Highlander here. <laughs> if I had to play, if you I had to. You get that reference? Yes, okay. yes. 
If I had to independently You could only them. play one of these ever again, and you could not play the other one. I'm gonna play two. There, that's the thing. Remember, that's throw not... this one away. <laughs> no! <laughs> Don't throw it away! I am in the same boat with you when it comes to these, or both. Yeah. In Definitely in my top ten. I cannot make any predictions for next year for how many games I will play. I can't make any promises for how many games no. I'll complete. Now you're doing a second job. Doing a second job. With YouTube is a third job. <laughs> YouTube's a third job. Um, oh, fuck, I'm loving YouTube. I, I You know love... what I would like to do? What? And uh, I'll give props to Denver Gamer for reminding me. Is that I want you not to like try to pound out as many games as you can to get an education this time around. Yeah. I want you to like be decisive to what you want to play, and I would really like to see you start your reviews again. Because yeah, I know. I enjoyed them. Denver Gamer told me he said you, like you get you're really onto something with that. Yeah. I agree. And your editing and everything, and you're more comfortable on camera. Oh yeah. Everything's gotten better. Oh, yeah. I think I think it'll be. Even if you can only get 10 reviews this year, yeah, I think it would be, that would be 10 really cool. great reviews. I will make this promise. I'm noticing for my... Let's, let's take another step further. See if I can get her to commit to something. The sequel of this yes. is in February. 100%. Let's I... make her do a review on that. That's our first review. Speaking of February, thank God I bought it in advance because Scott has a plan for February. And I don't know <laughs> if we'll reveal it right yet. All right. Yeah. But my promise for 2021, I feel like I'm running for an election here, um, is that you'll notice a lot of these games are newer games. I'm going to start playing more retro games. Are I you? need to get into the Nintendo, the Super Nintendo, the Saga. Yep. I need to go that route a little I, bit more. I want us to play more co-op stuff I together. do too. I do too. Now, we'll see what happens, but if we had talked about this before, about continuing on the gamer education, but in a different manner, maybe we'll have suggestions for co-op games mm -hmm. for us. Mm -hmm. So, that could be something cool. Oh, yeah. We'll have to look at the time schedule there we have for everything. Well, we got weekends. Uh, yeah, well, that's yeah. that's not a problem. Yeah. But it's like how many games can you actually get through in a year yeah. while having all that other stuff yeah. on your plate? I am actually going to have more time this year. Oh, I know. I'm very jealous of your time. To play more games because I, the last Maybe couple of years... Maybe we need to get Scott to do some reviews. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know if I can do them as well as you. I think you could. I think yeah. you just... You need to I am, be confident uh, about it. Yeah, but my problem is I struggle with words. I, you could almost be a writer. I, I cannot script something. I can help. You could script it. it, and I might be able to read it. All <laughs> right, big. Yeah. Right. Phonetically. Yeah. Even. In ground. In ground. Yeah. So I've already started. Like, just over the last couple of weeks, I beat my, you know, three games here. Probably three weeks. Yeah, you did. So. Yeah. I'm enjoying it. I know. Because Gaming's I fun. was doing what you were doing. Like, what you're doing now, I was doing that for the past year and a half or so. Yeah. So I'm committed to doing it for the next year and a half. Two years, probably. Yeah. So it's going to be busy. It's but we're busy. having fun. This we're is part fun. of our fun time. Yep. It is. Let's end it. All right. Thanks so much for watching, guys. What's your number? How many games did you beat this year? Yeah. Put that in the comment. Which, yeah. What? How many games did you beat, and which one was your favorite? Pop a name in there. Yeah, we would love to know. Yeah. And uh, if you haven't already, consider subscribing, uh, giving us a thumbs up, and all that good stuff. And until next time, game on! Game on!